let's have some fun. I like this comment and it, and it challenges me. It helps me understand who I am as a human being and as an American better. The video I made, which I'm not ashamed of, I'm proud of this video. It was called My Heritage. Spanish people think I'm annoying, but Mexicans love me. And I definitely believe that. I think when Spanish people comment on my videos, there's an obvious, undeniable cultural void there that I can sense. But when Mexicans leave comments, it's like, I, I feel like I'm related to them. I feel a connection there with Mexicans that I don't with Spanish people. So I wanna read this comment. I wanna talk a little bit more about that. Little Penguin had this to say, quote, I find it funny that you don't care if people say you're annoying. I also like that you stick to facts and you're not trying to distance yourself from the fact that you're part Mexican and not solely Spaniard, although you do look more Spaniard than indigenous because your DNA is more European, easy concept to understand, end quote. Love that comment, Little Penguin, thank you. I wanna kind of deconstruct that um, from, from the top there. Uh, yes, I don't care if people say I'm annoying. I don't mind being the Disney villain. Villain, if I'm, if I'm Scar or whoever I am, <laughs> whatever Disney villain I am, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with playing the bad guy. Because if I go around in my life wanting to be liked all the time, then I don't have a, a true sense of identity as a man. I believe that I have to be okay on a daily basis with people not liking me or finding that I'm obnoxious or annoying or a little bit of a bad guy. I think if I'm okay with that, then I live a better life because I'm not worried about what other people think about me. So, so I'm, I'm proud of that. So thank you if that's a compliment. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm not trying to distance my, from the fact that I'm part Mexican. I'm very proud of that. I love Mexican people. Anytime around Mexican people, even though I don't speak Spanish, we look at each other and we, we, we feel that connection. And then they see my mom and they especially know it's there. Uh, I love Mexican people so much. Uh, and yeah, I don't feel connected to Spain. I don't know much about Spain. I don't know much about their culture. I've never been curious about it. Just kind of what I see in movies or whatever. I'm like, okay, that's Spain. That's good. Next. I'm, I just, it's nothing personal. It's just, I have no connection to Spain that I feel, but I definitely feel a connection to Mexico because my grandma, her parents were from there and therefore it makes sense to me. I feel connected to Mexico, but not to Spain. And, and another comment too, that I look more Spanish than indigenous. And my heritage DNA test does show that I'm something like 21% indigenous and uh, 30, I think 31% Spanish or Iberian. Iberian, let me be very clear on that. Uh, so that is why I look more the way I do. But I like this video because it really challenges me and, and helps me to realize without shame, even if it makes me sound like a, a dumb American, which a lot of time in, in Europe, people think that I am, especially in Spain, people think I'm a dumb American. I'm okay, again, I'm okay with that. I'm a confident person, but I feel connected to Mexico. I don't feel connected to Spain. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I just don't feel a connection to Spain or to Europe, but I feel a connection to Mexico to Mexican people, to Mexican culture. I'm an American who loves Mexico and Mexicans. That's who I identify that quarter of my DNA that comes from that region. I'm very proud of that. You know, I guess there might be some Americans that maybe would be ashamed of their Mexican roots. I don't see why. Uh, you know, if, if we're just looking at negative stereotypes about Mexico, but no, nah, I think I think in modern day, like it's especially cool to be ethnic, you know, uh, to be part of this and part of this and part of this. So very proud to be Mexican.